wheelchair video. Ready, go. <laughs> <laughs> Starring me and Kaylin. That's me. Okay, so to move the um, legs in and out, you grab down here at the silver part and you open it and then to close it, put it back and then the same for the other leg. Okay, so you can also change the height and pull it out however how you need it and then you can drop it back down and then same thing with the other side okay so for the armrest right here um you're gonna move this over this knob right here and then there's a little button right here in the back right there and you're gonna push it in and it comes right off and then same things with, with the other side and then to put it back in you obviously put it back and then you turn the knob right here nice and then to take the legs off you pull this little silver knob, swing it out, pop it up, swing it out, pop it up, and I'm gonna lock the wheelchair. I'm a patient. I'll sit in it. This is unlocked. I'm gonna wheel all over the place, and then I can lock it in. And now I can't go nowhere. Sweet. So for holding the wheelchair, you're gonna grab from the side right here, and you're gonna pull up like that, okay? And then to put it down. You're just gonna push on him. I'm weak. And you just put your whole body weight into it. <laughs> oh. And then, <laughs> and then for attaching these, you're going to put these little knobs right here inside of the holes. And then turn it in. And then same for the other side. Oh, that is so cool. So my wheelchair is locked. Now it's unlocked. And when you move, you're gonna grab these black rooms right here. Don't touch the tires because you don't know where they've been. And then to move forward, you're gonna move your hands at the same speed. And then to turn to your left, you're gonna move your right hand over here. And you're not gonna move your left hand and you're just gonna move, okay? Keep it stationary and then to go to your right, you're gonna move this hand, your left hand, and not move your right hand and you're just gonna not run into the wall. <laughs> Go. And then you just look at her zoom you're in. Out of your way. Look at her zoom in. <laughs> so same thing with moving forward. You're just gonna move your hand at the same speed, and you're gonna go backwards. No way. Yes way. <laughs> it's like you got a sore arm or something, and you can't like use your hands, use your feet. You can just walk. Look at you move. Right. I'm going. And then if I wanna and go backwards, same. You just make sure you know where you're going. And then you can turn this way too. You can turn this way. Just with your feet sees. Emily experienced a bad accident where she got her arm bit off by a velociraptor. So she's going to show you how to do it one handed. So obviously I'm missing my arm over here. And <laughs> you would still move your hand with the wheel, but you would guide yourself with your legs. And then you back it up. How would you turn? You would, you know, turn the wheel and use your little legs. <laughs> Okay. So if you're ever in a pickle and you need to turn in a tight space and you're in a little bit of a pickle, Kaylin's going to show you how to do that. If I need a boot scoot and boogie out here, I'm just going to go in opposite directions with them. I just have my feet up in the thing. And you just go opposite. So I would pull, if I want to go this way, I'm going to pull this one back towards me and I'm going to push with this one. Kind of like I'm turning the wheel of fortune. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a little demo. Oh, I'm so stuck here. Hmm. How do I get out? <coughs> the opposite directions. <laughs> so when doing going in and out of an elevator, or one right there, it's best to go backwards. Do you want to talk about? Oh, <laughs> I mean, yeah, sure. Okay, so it is best to go backwards because if in the case where if you're alone and then you go backwards into the elevator, then when you're finally on that floor that you want that you want to go to, you can just wheel out forwards. That way you can see where you're going and it's safer for you and other people trying to get in and off the elevator. Okay, so Cheers. when you're doing the elevator, I want to get as close as possible to the wall. I'll push the button. And then I want to go backwards into the elevator. So I will turn around as best as I can. Make sure that there's nobody coming out, so make sure I'm out of the way. All clear. I'm going to wheel myself backwards in, watching where I'm going. I'm going crooked. And then here I am. And then I will want to go 
four and out. So then when I get back down to the ground, I just come straight out like that. So like from what Kaylin had said before, you're gonna wanna get as close as you can to the button right here, then push it, and then you're gonna wait and see if anybody's coming out of the elevator, and then you're just gonna wheel yourself in. So okay, when you can come in. And then you're gonna push the floor that you want, so we will go to floor number three. And I'm gonna turn myself around. Ooh, we're going up. <laughs> like so. <laughs> without <laughs> being in my way. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, so the door is open, make sure nobody's there, and you're just gonna wheel yourself out like this. Okay, so now if you got some helping you, I will push the button for her. And I'm gonna wheel her backwards in. There's no one behind me. Backwards in. That way when it gets to the floor that we want, we can just go ahead and go forward out. Okay, okay. So if we're going forward in, um, you're gonna push, I'm oh, sorry, I just pulled your hair. It's okay, you're gonna, I have an You're gonna push the button for the patient because we're gonna be going down. All right, so we're gonna go forward in like so. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna push the floor number that you wanna do. And then you're gonna turn the patient around without hitting their feet on the rails. <laughs> Whoa. And then, <laughs> then you're gonna wait for the door to open. I didn't think we'd actually go down. I know, me too. <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> here we are. <laughs> so then, so nobody's standing out there and you're just gonna push them straight out and take them to their final destination. Here we are. <laughs> you can open the door, you're gonna be as close to the door as you possibly can. And grab the knob. And you'll wheel with one hand. Open. And then I'm gonna close you up. Maybe. Maybe so. There we go. Okay, so the same thing. I'm gonna wheel as close as I can to it. And then I'm gonna back up with one hand in the door so I can get her open. And then just mosey my way out. Okay, so now I'm gonna be um, taking Kaylin into this room. And I'm going to be pushing the door open, and then I'm going to be taking her in, okay? So first, I'm going to inform the patient that I'm going to be walking them through this door right here. So I'm going to open it, but I'm still going to have a hold of the wheelchair. So it's opening right now, and then I'm going to take her in. And I'm going to have the patient's hands in her lap still. So make sure that your hands are in your lap, and then I'm just going to push her through like this. And then I'm just going to close the door. So now I'm gonna be taking Kaylin out of the room. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be turning her backwards. Like so. <laughs> I'm gonna open the door back here. Just gonna open it wide enough so that her and I can both fit throughout or fit out the door. And I'm gonna watch where I'm going, so I'm gonna make sure that her hands are inside of the wheelchair. Which they are because I'm holding the phone. <laughs> and I'm gonna watch the doorway so we can clear the doorway without her hitting the side of the door. And then you're outy. Ta da! Yeah. Okay, so this technology is super cool. So you don't have to struggle as much with the door. So they make door buttons. So you just want to wheel as close as you can to it. Push the door. Wait for it to open. It's kind of close. And then out you go. <laughs> I want to show you how to go up a curve. So I have my patient Emily here. So cute and adorable. I'm going <laughs> to tip her backwards. <laughs> and then I'm going to make sure that the wheels, the little caster wheels up front, are above the curve. And then I'm going to pull her up. Just like that. <laughs> now I'm going to show you how to bring a patient up a curve with them going backwards. Ready, go. Okay, so I have Emily here in the wheelchair and I'm gonna back her up as much or as close to the curve as I possibly can. And I'm gonna use my abs. I'm gonna bend my knees a little bit and I'm gonna pull her up. <laughs> and then I'm gonna pull her up again. 
And now we're on the curb. All right, so now we're gonna push Kaylin down this curb right here. Well, not push it, we're gonna, you know, slide her down. All right, so I would tell the patient, um, you're gonna feel some bumps, so just like, hang on to the wheelchair and depend on me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slowly go to the curb and I'm just gonna hang on tight to the things here, to the hand whales. What are these called? Hand grips! <laughs> and then I'm gonna compress my abs and I'm gonna push her down, maybe. Okay, and then I'm just gonna pick up on there and we're down. <laughs> Okay, and now, <laughs> now backwards. Now if we're going backwards, I'm just thinking. Yeah, that's fine. So I'm gonna get a wide stance right here, like a little lunge, <laughs> and I'm gonna put my knee right behind her, and I'm gonna tell her you're gonna feel like you're going backwards, but I have hold of you. So I'm gonna keep my knee right here for stabilization. <laughs> <laughs> so they ran into a pickle and we have this big old incline that we gotta climb up so I'm gonna bring all the way up to the pickle. Make sure my wheels are unlocked. And I'm gonna make sure my abs are contracted and keep my knees bent. And I'm gonna push her up. The incline. <laughs> <laughs> Oh wait, and then we can go down. And we're gonna go down, turn around. And I'm gonna wanna kind of make sure my weight is in like my like my heels. That way she doesn't go flying down. I'm gonna walk very slowly down the incline with Emily. Yeah. <laughs> Grabbing the phone. So if I'm not here to rescue Emily, now she's got to do it by herself. So she's going to show you how to do that. Ready? Yeah. So you're going to put your hand on the hand rules here. And you're just going to go forward. And you're going to move your hands at the same time. Okay. And then, it's a very steep incline. And then you're going to turn around. Like so. <laughs> Plus what you're doing. Okay. So now, you're just going to go forward. Very slowly, like so. <laughs> we need to redo go backwards and up the incline. You're gonna move your hand at like the same time, right? And you're just gonna go backwards and make sure you're looking behind you, like you're backing up a car. Okay. Okay. And then I have to go backwards. Mm-hmm. Okay, so so you're side. gonna go backwards, doing the same thing, very slowly. Uh, you know, take your time so you don't fall backwards. And again, you're going to be looking behind you. So the wheels are obviously going to move at their own pace. And you're just going to guide them down. <laughs>